So making a drawer box is super easy. The first thing you need to do is know your measurements. My drawer is gonna be 21 inches deep and I know my width and my height of my drawer box because I'm basing it off my inset face frame. So I know all those dimensions and I'm basically just gonna cut it on my table saw and then we're gonna cut a little rabbit to insert the bottom. And I'm gonna show you the details of that uh, once I cut everything and how to put it all together. So let's start cutting. So I've cut all the pieces to the right length and width for my drawer that I'm going to be assembling. The next thing that I need to do is cut the little groove of the channel that the bottom of the drawer slides into. Now I'm going to be using MDF, quarter inch thick MDF, so I have a stacked data blade in my table saw that's going to cut a quarter inch thick groove. Now the depth of that groove is going to be also a quarter inch. Now it's very important to note that I have offset my fence by half an inch. Now the reason why I'm setting my fence uh, or offsetting it half an inch is because of the type of drawer slides that I'm using, I need it to be a half an inch offset. And it'll make more sense when I show you how this assembles and all goes together. All right, so let's cut this channel and then start assembling. There's one additional step that you need to do if you're using the type of drawer slides that I have. And what you need to do is you need to cut out a little slot that is an inch and a half deep. Now I've set my fence, I've offset it by an inch and a half and I'm using this to basically cut out everything. You can use a jigsaw or you can use a scroll saw or a band saw, whatever you feel like doing, just as long as it's clean, it looks good and it does the job. So let me cut this out and then we'll move on to assembly. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. You'll wanna cut out the material. This is an inch and a half right here and it's half an inch uh, inset. And that's so the slide fits perfectly flush with the bottom of the drawer. All right, now that I've cut all the grooves in my boards, it's now time to put some pocket holes in the front and back so we can start assembling this. Be sure to cut your quarter inch MDF for the bottom of your box. Assembly is pretty easy. The first thing you're going to do is screw in all your pocket holes to the sides of your box. Be sure to use wood glue when you're doing this. It's also very helpful to have a clamp handy to hold everything together. My drawer slides have an indexing tab in the back. You simply just need to mark where these are at and then drill them out with your drill bit. Next, you'll want to install your drawer slide release mechanism. Now, this is why, if you remember in the very beginning, I said you needed a half an inch clearance with your bottom of your box. This is why.
So what I'm gonna do now is just put some glue on the drawer and then we will come back later and screw everything together. But we wanna do this so that way we get a nice uh, surface to attach everything to. All right, so I'm just using a pocket hole screw to attach everything. And I'm simply just gonna attach it to the side here. 